today we are going to learn all about op art. We have two artists we are going to use as our inspiration for our own op art lesson. First, op art is short for optical art. It is a style of visual art that uses optical illusions. Op artworks are abstract, with many better known pieces created in only black and white. Typically, they give the viewer the impression of movement, hidden images, flashing and vibrating patterns, or of swelling or warping. Bridget Riley is one of the most popular op artists of the last century. She was born in Britain in 1931. Bridget Riley earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in 1955. Around 1960, she started experimenting with optical effects in her art. Look at the lines in this piece. They might look like they are moving and showing 3D depth, even though the piece is 2D. When Bridget started displaying her black and white abstract works in the 1960s, viewers were amazed at how they seemed to move. Bridget Riley's precise use of repetitive line created these illusions. Victor Vasarely is another prominent op artist. Vasarely was born in 1908 in Hungary. He is sometimes referred to as the grandfather of op art. His painting Zebras was painted in 1931 I think I can see where Bridget Riley got her inspiration. Notice the use of repeated lines, shapes, and colors in Vasarly's paintings. Many of Vasarly's paintings look like they are popping off of the canvas. Finally, think about these questions. What are some differences you notice between Bridget Riley's art and Victor Vasarely's? What are some similarities? What elements of art did these artists use? What principles of design did they use? How could you make your own op art? Thanks for watching. Good luck.